Hello, this is Group 4's video presentation for COM 3603, Human and Computer Interaction. Our members include Karen Bisundial, Ricardo Siraj, Kristen Bibersingh, and me, Shinaz Alex. Firstly, who is this presentation of Project Report 4? This project was produced for the Executive Board of the University of the West Indies Computing Society, or UX. The existing UX website contains a lot of issues and problematic things with it. As you can see on the image from your right, these issues include poor design structure, lack of content and cohesion, lack of colors, user unfriendliness, congestion on information, as well as irrelevant information. To solve all the issues mentioned earlier, the new and developing UX website need to have the following which is a new implementation on a design structure, pertinent and unambiguous information, color schematics, user friendliness and mobile compatibility, which can enable users to view the website on mobile phones as well as tablets. The UX website is targeted to three specific categories of people and these are the members of the Computing Society, non-members of the Computing Society, regular students, and external stakeholders from other parties outside of the university. Each category of members may use the website for different things and purposes. For example, members of the Computing Society may use the website to view upcoming meetings or competitions hosted by UX, as well as viewing general information about the club as a whole. Regular students, however, may be used the website to join after seeing major activities on the club or for interacting with the About page to find out a lot of information pertaining to UX. However, external stakeholders, they use the website to host sessions with UX also to collect resources and to see the skills of each member of the UX club and also to spark potential internship opportunities for the university and for each member in UX. Two user research methods were used due to the constraint of time. Try it yourself where the members of the development team tried the website and a survey given to various UE students. The generalized summary for both research methods is as follows. Most users were satisfied with the themes that were selected, while only a handful complained that the light theme was too harsh for their eyes. The website looked almost perfect on mobile, but the desktop view had too much white space, making the content look too spread out. The use of material design cards were excessive, causing parts of the website to look intrusive rather than blending with the background. Before the development of the website, overall rules were laid down to guide the design process. Responsiveness in this day and age of web development is an absolute necessity. This helps the developers deliver a product faster to users and it does not restrict the users to a particular device. This allows a wider audience to view the website more comfortably. Additionally, there should be a middle ground between the amount of text, images and animations being presented to the user. Too much of any one will cause the user to lose focus or leave the user confused. There should be just enough to get the point of the website across and to keep the user's attention. Furthermore, contrasting themes make content on the page more focused and visible. This may also help those users who may be visually impaired. The default chosen theme is a dark theme, which works well in dimly lit environments. The user may also choose a light theme based on their current conditions. More themes will be added in the future since we believe a user should not be forced to use a design or color scheme that they are not comfortable with. The user should always have the option to choose what they would like. A heuristic analysis of the system was done by all the members of the team. Each member had to create a list of criteria for each page which they thought the site needed to fulfill. The event carousel did attract the user's attention on the home page, but the unused space along the sides showed a bad implementation of the layout. Also, the controls on the carousel did prove difficult on mobile, but very easy on PC. The member cards on the executive page were unnecessarily large, causing unnecessary scrolling and unused space. 
On the about page, the images are too large on PC such that it takes away attention from the main text which is supposed to be presented to the user. However, on mobile, this is fixed with image scaling. At first glance of the directions page, the user's attention isn't grabbed because the page loads very empty. However, once choosing a direction or a location to go to, the page is loaded with content. This should be improved by implementing an initial state. User feedback as well as the heuristic analysis comments provided a way to create recommendations for the next iteration of design. These recommendations include creating new page layouts for presenting the main content easier to the user and to remove unused space. Also, better navigation for mobile elements is to be included. Adjustment of the site's color scheme and fonts are to be done to improve the readability. Users also recommended the removal of some additional navigation which seemed unnecessary for reaching more content. And apart from those recommendations, there were a few other tweaks to the site in smaller areas.